you know, if you think of like, what is education? Like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education. Cause like, it shouldn't be like this huge chore. Like the more you can gamify process of learning, the better. To the degree that you can make uh, somehow learning like a game, it's better. And I think, unfortunately, like a lot of education is very vaudevillian. You've got someone standing up there kind of lecturing at people, and they've done the same lecture 20 years in a row, and they're not very excited about it. That lack of enthusiasm, you know, is conveyed to the students. They're not very excited about it. They don't know why they're there. Why are we learning this stuff? We don't even yeah. know why. In fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in learning them, because they, they never use them in the future. Well, you have to say, like, people, I think, don't stand back and say, well, why are, are we teaching people these things? And we should tell them probably why we're teaching these things. Because a lot of kids just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why they're there. So I think that's pretty important uh, and just make, make it entertaining. But I think just in general, like, conventional education should be massively overhauled. And I think if you can explain the why of things, then that makes a huge difference to people's motivation. And they understand, they understand purpose. So t t t tying it to solving a problem is, I think, very powerful for establishing relevance and getting kids excited about what they're working on and having the knowledge stick. Like, what is a solar panel? How does orbital dynamics work? You know, how do we power this thing? How do batteries work? Electronics, control systems. But then you're like, oh, we want to make our satellite work. That's why we need to understand all these disciplines. There are definitely some good schools out there, but I think some of the mistakes, at least in my opinion, that I see being made in education is that the teachers do not explain why kids are being taught a subject. You know, just sort of get dumped into math and like, well, why are you learning math? What's the point of this? Or why am I being asked to do these strange problems? You know, it's the difference between if you say, well, we're going to take apart this, uh, this engine um, and, and see how it works and put it back together again. Um, and then in order to take the engine apart, we need, you know, wrenches and screwdrivers and a winch um, and Allen keys and, and whatnot. Um, and, 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 so that, that, and then in the course of solving the problem of taking the engine apart and putting it back together, you learn about wrenches and screwdrivers and all the tools that you need. Um, and then now you understand the relevance. Oh, this is why wrenches are important. I, you know, whereas if you had a, cl a, a class on wrenches, you know, the, the why of things is extremely important because our brain has evolved to not discard information that it thinks has no relevance. So then, if on the one hand, you're being asked to memorize or learn, say, formulas, but you do not know why this is the case, then you have this cognitive dissonance of, it seems irrelevant, but I'm being told to remember it, so I'll be punished, so I better remember it. So the why of things is very important, and picking a problem and then using various educational tools to solve that problem, using math or physics or economics to solve that problem is far more engaging than teaching the tools. I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. So I created a little school. It's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. I just didn't see that uh, the regular schools, they weren't doing the things that I thought should be done and actually hired a teacher who also agreed with me that there was a better way to do it. I mean, it's small, it's only got 14 kids now and it'll have 20 kids in, in September, a bit different from, from most other schools, is that there aren't any grades. There's no, like, not grade one, grade two, grade three type of thing. And making all the children go in the same grade at the same time, like an assembly line, it seems to be going pretty well. So it's important to teach problem solving or teach to the problem, not to the tools. So this would be like, let's say, you're trying to teach people about uh, how engines work. A more traditional approach would be to say, well, we're going to teach you all about screwdrivers and wrenches, and you're going to have a course on screwdrivers, a course on wrenches, and all these things. This is a very difficult way to, to do it. A much better way would be like, here's the engine, now take it apart. How are we going to take it apart? Oh, you need a screwdriver. That's what the screwdriver is for. You need a wrench. That's what the wrench is for. And then a very important thing happens, which is that the relevance of the tools becomes apparent. I mean, the kids really love going to school. I think that's a, a good sign, you know, because some people love English or languages. Some people love math. Some people love music and they have different abilities at different times. It makes more sense to, to cater the education to match their aptitudes and abilities.